What's getting you excited? Talk about things that you're, you're implementing now and are on the horizon. Yeah, it's a super exciting time, Brett. And, and I think, especially in healthcare IT, what the past 24 months have done is really shine a bright, bright spotlight on the value proposition of information technology and not just being a transaction-based organization, but really how do I drive the business and how do I reinvent the business on a dime and react quickly to changing conditions? A few things that we're doing and a few things I'm contemplating. Number one, everybody is doing retail medicine. That's actually part and parcel for what's expected now by the consumers, which is a low friction, high touch, I feel valued and secure relationship with my primary care provider or my specialist provider as a patient. Number two, blocking and tackling. How many organizations did we see over the past 24 months that could not pivot to a full telehealth model? So end of the day, making sure you block and tackle and you have the infrastructure and availability and resiliency baked into your system is no longer a nice to have, but a must have. Then third is a focus on leadership and talent development, investing in your people and growing them. I think we always knew the byproduct of one of the most important aspects of your entire organization as its people. But the reality is, unless you put your money where your mouth, you're investing in them. What kind of business are you? And workers are wisening up and going to those businesses like that. So if you look at three dimensions with Baptist Jacksonville is really double clicking and focusing on it's those three dimensions. I'm also watching closely autonomous delivery. We are investing in robots for our hospitals to automate a lot of nursing tasks this very moment. And then last but not least, really looking at ambient analytics, meaning what are you doing? What are you saying? How are you interacting with a computer any given day? If you, a lot of these trends, is it getting smarter? Not not just adding more tech to add tech, but actually talking about these things, having these conversations. I think we've opened up the doors to this just because of what's happened. And now there's an awareness and visibility to it all over the board.